Good morning and welcome to Inside South Florida. I'm Dave Azer. On today's show, if you're guilty of texting while driving, we've got a phone app just for you. We talk to legendary South Florida football coach Howard Schnellenberger. A dating expert gives you the do's and don'ts of the dating world. And we find out some of the great work being done by the local chapter of the March of Dimes. That and more as Inside South Florida starts now. In 2010, distracted driving, which includes driving while texting, killed more than 3,000 people nationally. And last year, 23% of traffic accidents involved drivers who were texting. Meet Joe Riano, the creator of a new phone app that aims to lower those numbers. Joe, good to have you here. Thanks for coming in. It's great being here. All right, I love the story about how this came to be. You're driving, someone cuts you off, and that's the inspiration, right? Correct. And uh, then I see that they're texting and they're kind of apologetic uh, when they get to the light. In the meantime, they almost ran into my into my vehicle. And you had your grandson in the car with you? I had my grandson in the back seat, uh, in, in, in his car seat in the back, yes. And now, I said, this is dangerous. Now obviously, that's not the first time I'm guessing that that ever happened to you. So was this something that was kind of building up in your, in your brain? You were already kind of thinking this or what? I've been seeing how people have been weaving in traffic in the middle of the day. That never used to happen until nighttime mm -hmm. when people were not in their best uh, behavior. But now in the middle of the day, I'm saying there's something different here. And it's the addiction to texting that happens uh, to everyone because they're receiving a text and they feel compelled to respond immediately. Right, and, and you and I were, were talking a few minutes ago, the vast majority of the texts that people receive aren't really even important anyway. They can wait. Correct, absolutely. It can always wait. Uh, the issue is that sometimes people feel compelled that if they don't respond, that the other person thinks that they're being ignored. All and right. that's what happens. So, so let's talk about how your app works. Talk me through it. Yeah, what happened was I also received the text and I'm about ready to get on I-95 and I said, oh my gosh, here I'm, I'm in the same position of the people that I was criticizing last week. So I said, what if I could stop the phone from ringing or buzzing and respond to that person automatically and said, hey, I received your text, but I'm driving now, I'm not available, I'll get back to you later. Wouldn't that be a good thing? Yeah. And I said, so let's do that. So I. Uh, Researched and I did contacted a, a developer, a couple of developers that I knew, and I said, I want to do this, but I want to make sure that this thing is free. And not only that, but how do we get people to use it? I said, I want to make it free and with rewards. So that's how the whole idea came about. All right, so we'll get back to the rewards in a minute because it's mm -hmm. a pretty cool program. But what I really like about this is that when you're driving and this activates, not only do you send a reply back, but you as a driver don't even know that you're getting the text. That's the best thing. You right. don't have the temptation of looking at the phone and saying, who was it that wanted to talk to me? That person received the response that says, hey, I'm not available right now, I'm driving. So they go, okay, I know I am not gonna bother this person again. I'm sure that when they get off the, the car, then they're gonna call me. And you turn it on yourself? Does it activate automatically? How does it, how does it work? Well, you can have, we have two modes. You activate it manually before you get in the car, or you can put it in GPS mode. And GPS, then you tell it how fast you want it, you want to be going before it turns on. So 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, it automatically comes on. So you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's, it seems like such a no-brainer. I mean, it's, I'm so glad that this is happening because for whatever reason, Florida has been kind of slow to the party and people are still allowed to text and drive. So until that changes, it's nice to know that, that there's an alternate solution here. Correct, and, and even when the law changes, as, as we're aware of, uh, kids still have the temptation of reaching for that phone and maybe it may even be a worse problem when mm -hmm. they change the law because they, 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 now they're going to be trying to sneak and, and, and drive, if you will. They shouldn't do it to begin with, uh, it, but you know, it's an obsessive behavior that we're trying to curb and we're trying to build good, uh, good rewards for, for doing the right thing. Okay, anyways. so let's talk about the rewards program. Uh, the rewards program we, we figured out, we, we had several uh, meetings with students from different uh, schools uh, Florida Atlantic University being one of them, and they said to us, you know, we are, we really don't think anything's going to happen to us by texting and drivers. Well, how can I make you use this app? And they said, how about you give us rewards? I said, that's a great idea. Why don't we give you rewards in order to do that? So uh, this month in particular, in the month of December, we're giving away $25 to the top three users who use free, safe text. So that means a lot because it could be a, a little extra cash for the holidays that the people can, can win. And it's so easy, even a football legend 
can use it, right? You have, you have a very big, very huge, awesome uh, guy working with you on this. Well, absolutely, and I, I couldn't have done this without him because he's been a great proponent of, of as we know, uh, of the students in the state of Florida since the uh, early 1980s with the University of Miami and now Florida Atlantic University. I'm really, really happy that, that he became very involved in this and, and is a champion, actually. Yeah. So I'm really, really happy that. We're actually about to talk with him, Coach Howard Schnellenberger. But, Joe, this was great. Thank you so much for coming in. Best of luck. Thank you very much. All right. Appreciate it. As you just heard, football legend Howard Schnellenberger, who helped launch the University of Miami's football dynasty and FAU's football program, is involved in this venture. So here's the coach to talk texting and football. Coach, it is an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming on. Well, it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you. We're going to talk some football, but before we do that, let's talk about your relationship with Joe and Free Safe Text and how that came to be. Well, it uh, goes back now almost a year when uh, I first became an ambassador at large for Florida Atlantic University. And ambassadors at large go to a lot of uh, Chamber of Commerce and Rotary Club meetings and things like that to go out and uh, survey the, uh, the uh, clientele. And, uh, Joe came up to me after one of the meetings and uh, introduced me to this new app that he was uh, 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 had developed, and uh, I got interested. And it wasn't until I've talked with him for a couple of days that he really let me know how deadly uh, this texting while driving is, and how many people were getting killed in, in virtually uh, most of them were 14 to 24 years old, and and uh, how this thing is so tempting and, and, and that nobody can talk them out of it. And, you know, their mothers and dads can't, their coaches, their pastors, other people can't talk them out of doing it. The law makes law and that can't uh, keep them from texting. And this app is a thing that uh, will be the antidote for this plague that we have going across our country. Let's uh, change gears a bit. Let's talk a little football with you. I'm a University of Miami grad. Right? So uh, obviously I have, there you go, fond memories of, of your time there. Tell me about your, your favorite memory, whether it's from the national championship game or just anything at UM, the, the one story, the one memory that you just love the most. He knocked it away. He knocked yeah. it away as they went for the two-point play to beat us in the Orange Bowl. Obviously that has to be the highest sure. point in my life and the highest point of every person that ever drew a breath uh, in favor of Florida, uh, the University of Miami. And uh, that'll live in the annals of the Orange Bowl uh, forever. That was the 50th anniversary of the first Orange Bowl game when Miami played in there for the first time. From there, obviously, the program did some amazing things. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's been a dynasty yeah. and, and is on the verge of becoming a dynasty again, greater than the ones that Coach Bryant had at Alabama, that Bud Wilkinson had at Oklahoma. This was the greatest dynasty ever in American football. Yeah, 83, 87, 89, 91, and we're just a dominating run. And, 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 and not only that, those are the ones you won. Right. There were six others that you played for in the, in the uh, last game of the year that she came up second best mm -hmm. for over a 15-year period winning five uh, national championships, uh, playing another six that you didn't win, uh, stretched over that period of time has never been done before. The last thing I want to ask you about is the undefeated Dolphins season, because you were part of that as well. Mm -hmm. Offensive coordinator, your favorite story or memory from that team? Well, the favorite story of that is uh, the story that it was undefeated and nobody's ever done it before and everybody's ever done it since. Were you rooting against the Patriots in the Super Bowl when they were undefeated a few of years course. ago? <laughs> and was I cheering for the Dolphins when they went up there and beat the, the Bears to, be, right. to clinch that other one? But you know, we're going down uh, to uh, Sunlight Stadium uh, late in December when they play, when the Dolphins play the uh, Buffalo Bills uh, for a reunion with that football team and their fans. Don Shula is going to be there. I'm going to be there. Bill Arnsberger's son is going to be there. The only three coaches that are still alive. All the other uh, undefeated guys are going to come back and we're going to have a celebration of the 40th anniversary of that game. And the striking thing is, is that uh, we already are uh, have won the 41st game because this year will be the 41st uh, season. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be a big event. 
Well, anytime you want to come back and talk football for four or five hours in a row, it's fine with me. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here today, and best of luck with Free Safe Text and everything that you're doing. And you, uh, whenever you want to come up to Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton in the brand new best stadium that's ever been built for, foot, for football, uh, come up and I'll give you a tour. I still have a little eligibility left. Do you need a backup kicker? No. No. All right. Well, I, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Always great to talk to a legend. When we come back, don't want to be single in the new year? Well, then let our dating expert tell you what to do and what not to do.